Welcome everyone to the Supreme Ruler Cold War video tutorial on cabinet ministers. As you play through the game, you will have cabinet ministers who can assist you in running the various aspects of a given department. On the cabinet screen, you are presented with some information about what's done in that department, and you have access to priorities. As you set these priorities, this will tell the minister exactly how you want them to approach the job of running the given department. If we take as an example the finance department, on the cabinet screen, you're presented with some information about the social spending and tax rate, and you have the priorities that you can choose from. As you set these priorities, it will tell the finance minister how you want the issues of social spending, taxation, and debt to be addressed. On certain cabinet screens, you'll also be able to lock the minister from making changes to certain aspects of a given department. Each of the departments has a minister for you to use, uh, such as production and in research for assisting with research projects. The defense departments actually have one cabinet minister for all three. And here again, you're setting priorities to determine how you want the military to run. But you also have initiative settings. This is where you can actually take control of your military units and keep the AI from moving around your units. With military initiative on, they will attempt to address your military needs. So if you'd like to ask us questions on this tutorial or on anything else, you can find us on Facebook or through the Paradox forums. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the demo if you haven't already gotten your copy of the game.